All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our weekly Team Passion Call. It is Monday night, October 24th. Super excited to see all you smiling faces, maybe some tired faces, but all good. Um, a couple things I kind of want to go over real quick before we get into our call. Um, one is we were supposed to have a sneak peek starting tomorrow um, on the event calendar, and I'm like, Oh, <laughs> just getting home from leadership. I actually took a 90 minute nap this morning after the girls get on the, on the bus. Um, so I'm still going to open it tomorrow and I still want you guys to pump it up, but we'll, maybe we'll do like, we'll do it Thursday to Saturday or something. We'll just get people in and we'll hope we'll have it go throughout the weekend. Um, but we'll, we'll either do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll do posts. Um, but let's still get everybody in a group. Um, this week and we'll still make it happen. It's just not going to be exactly tomorrow um, Next Monday we will not have a team call because it's Halloween. So we will all be well my kids will be in bed by this time, but um, It'll be too chaotic and people on the West Coast will just be trick-or-treating with their kids and all that stuff So we will not do a team call on Halloween um, So we'll get right back into it the following week which will be November Cuckoo. All right um, a couple things I want to just chat with you real quick coming off of leadership. I know I, um, anytime I go to an event and I, I take pictures of slides and I bombard you with a ton of information within like two hours time frame. Um, but it's, it's my excitement that I share as quick as I can. So I hope you got a lot out of some of the things that I posted this weekend, but I kind of want to summarize a few things. Um, we have, so we have Core to Force launch, right? Coming up real quick. Last week's team call was all on the launch. So make sure you go back and listen to that if you haven't. Um, so I think I've said this three times already in the team page, but I'm going to say it again. I am so excited that they are not launching another program in January and February. For those of you who've been with us for a couple years, the launches started happening, I would say, maybe two and a half years ago, like every quarter. Really, and it's like, oh my God, like it's exhausting. It's fun, but we don't need a program every quarter. So I'm really excited that we can focus on this core to force launch. Like do your 30 day, your 60 days. Everyone kind of, everyone that's been talking about this program recommends turning the 30 day program into a 60 day program. Um, they're coming out with new workouts that will be exclusively on demand for it too. So, you know, during the 60 days, if you start to get bored, there's going to be two extra ones. We actually did them at leadership. One of them was MMA speed 3.0. It was nine rounds and ouch. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was really cool. It was doable. Um, so yeah, so try to really, well, not try. Do your core to force for 60 days, November, December, so that when January comes around, that's what you're launching. You're doing another challenge group for January, February, March, and just getting everybody really excited. Carl wants us to focus on year-end resolutions instead of new year resolutions. So a lot of what's going on right now in the world is kind of affecting our business, in case you haven't noticed. It's affecting everybody's business. Like if you're watching the stock market and stuff, like anytime there's an election, it's not, things just aren't as good during this time because things are like volatile, and especially this election. Like this election is cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, right? Like, oh my God, I don't even know. So this election in particular, things are just a little off. So just you put your blinders on. You know, there's plenty of people who are just, you know, ignoring what's, we're well, not ignoring, no one's ignoring what happened, but you know what I mean? Just trying to stay focused and positive and that we're all going to be okay, right? So um, take this time to make sure that you are pumping things up. I have said this a couple times, and I say this around this time every year, the next two months of what you do now, this whole quarter, really set you up for the next year. Like you, it's not wise business wise for you to just say, I'm just going to wait till everybody's new year resolutions. Please don't do that. Like get everybody started now so that they don't gain 10 pounds over the holiday season. I think that's the average, like 10 to 15 pounds people gain from now till the end of the year. So let's not do that. People, but Promote it as you can still have fun, you can still, you know, make healthy choices, but have 
your wine and your treats over the holiday season, but let's do it wisely and let's do it together. So really kind of promote that um, to have people do year end resolution, something that I'm doing differently. I talk all the time about ignoring the scale, but then I don't do it. Right. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> I told my challengers, I was like, listen, I am not getting on the scale. I'm not, I know it's up. Okay. I don't need the number to tell me that I, my clothes tell me that just fine. Um, so I am telling, I told all my challengers, I'm not getting on the scale. I'm going to post my pictures every 30 days for my quarter force results. And I'm going to post my measurements and, um, I'm going to get my wedding ring back on my finger. Like those are my goals. So those are things that I'm working on so that I can ignore the scale, not just by saying it, but doing it. So I don't have, I'm not going to do a starting weight with core de force. I'm not going to know. I, I honestly don't care anymore. Um, like I said, I just know I'm up and I'm uncomfortable. Um, so that's what I'm going to work on. So we have that happening, the core de force launch. We have, um, you, wanted, you want to have a group starting in my challenge tracker app for November because there's going to be the contest going on with the team spirit thing, right? So um, if you're, hope, I hope everyone on here is registered for either under team passion or your umbrella team um, for the team spirit competition. Let me know after the call or in the team page if you don't know how to register. But basically you go in, you register as a team, you put in my name, you put in Team Passion, and you put in Nicole L. Jones as the founder, and then let me know when you're registered, and we have a group set up. So the whole month of November, we're going to be in a Facebook group together. I'm going to take you through the seven-day quick start assignments, me and some other leaders, and we're going to take you through Sprint to Diamond assignments. So for the 30 days that we're together, like we're going to do some serious work in that group, and I'm super excited about it. It's going to be so, so awesome. And it's going to be daily check-ins, just daily assignments, just we're going to do some serious work. And the contest is based around you having some people in a challenge group, too, on your challenge tracker app. So make sure you open that up. Um, and then we're going to be talking about hashtag. Like, we'll figure it out together in the page. But just I just want to, you know, get this in your head now that you're going to open a My Challenge Tracker app again like you did for the health bet for the Team Spirit competition. So make sure you're registered for that. January, they are doing the health bet again. Um, I think it's going to, the pot's going to be up to 2 million this time or something, I think is what Carl said at leadership. I'm sure there's an FAQ on it. I'm not going to stress about that right now because right now I want us focusing on the team spirit competition and the core de force launch. Cool. Any questions on any of that? So yeah, the big theme of this weekend for all of the, the leaders was, you know, Back to basics, which we had been starting to talk about these last six months anyway. Um, but we'd been, we did a call, we did a Zoom call on it. But just really, guys, we make this so much more complicated than it needs to be. Like, do your workout, drink your shake, follow a program, do your personal development, and talk to people. Make sure you are present on social media. I've been noticing so many people disappearing on social media. I'm like, hello? Where, where'd you just go? <laughs> you know? So, um, Cheryl did a call for us two weeks ago on that particular topic and we're continuing this tonight with Chrissy like you've got to be consistently present on social media a lot of people I don't know what to say I don't know what to do it doesn't matter like I know I know those fears are out there just talk just be there like even if the sometimes I'll delete a post after like an hour I'm like oh my god I got one like <laughs> you know so that's okay so that just still that happens to me um, I think I did that over the weekend. I'm like, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> and I just deleted it because it literally got one like, and I think it was one of you trying to make me feel better. So it's all good. And that stuff still happens to me. You know, I've been in this business over six years. So, I, you know, I just do. Danielle Natoni, she talked today on the National Wake Up Call. Please listen to that. But she, that was what she said in leadership. She's like, you know, Rocky didn't know how he was going to fight Apollo Creed. He didn't know how he was going to win. He didn't know what to do. So he just did. He just, he made up his own boxing routine. You know, he got up every day, just ran. He didn't know why or what for, but you know, so make sure you're just taking action guys. You can't, you can't screw up. You can't, it's, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's your Facebook page or your Instagram. Like it doesn't matter. Like just be reasonable. Don't be rude or anything, but it, you know, 
keep the political stuff off it too. I would definitely keep the political stuff to yourself because it's just not, not good. Um, but yeah, I would just really talk about just be you, be real. Who cares? Like Cheryl posts her workout video every single day and has for however many months. Some people are probably sick of it. Some people can't wait to see it every day. Some people are in between. She doesn't base her, oh shoot, should I really post this video today? Like seriously, this is probably the 75th day in a row. Do people really want to see this video again? Yeah, I know I do. I'm always looking for what Sean Patrick's antic of the day is going to be and what outfit Emily is wearing. So, you know, but that's me. So I'm her target. I'm her lifer. Some of you are probably, you know, probably have no idea what the O'Malley show is and that's okay. So you just have to, you have to be you, you have to be real and you have to take action. And I'm sure Chrissy is going to cover all of that. So I will stop now. Um, but I asked Chrissy Lemke, one of my personally sponsored diamond coaches to share with us tonight, um, about Instagram cause she kills it on Instagram and I suck in Instagram. So I'm not going to train you cause I don't, I'm hardly ever there. I am not present <laughs> when I am supposed to be on Instagram, but I'm getting better. Um, but, but I think she'll go over that. You don't have to be as present there as you do on, on Facebook. So the, you have to know all these different social media outlets. You don't have to know all of them and you don't have to be present on all of them, but the ones that you decide to be present on, you have to know how to talk on. Like it's Facebook and Instagram are very different. You can't do the same posts. They don't, it's not going to work. So, um, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Chrissy, Chrissy's husband was one of, um, my first customers like six years ago and they were boyfriend and girlfriend at the time. They weren't married. Yes. And, um, you know, I reached out to him and he was like, Oh yeah, my girlfriend and I have done P90X where we're going to do P90X too. We've done this. We've done, I'm like, Oh my God. And I totally, it was one of those, like, I usually don't do this, but you guys should be coaches. Like, because they were in love with Beachbody and had been. Um, and so there's, there's a whole story behind it, but, um, luckily I was doing my job and I was following up and I was paying attention because, um, Sean shared with me when they came out here at the beginning of the year that he was so impressed because he had told me they were moving in together in Florida. And so they went in my index card box. I wrote on that what was happening. So the week of the move, I sent him an email and I was like, Hey, good luck on the move this weekend. You know, he was like, you are on it. Um, so, you know, you've got to pay attention to stuff like that with your customers. It took Chrissy, um, it took me a little convincing to get Chrissy on board, but I'm so glad she did. And I knew I was relentless because I knew she was made for this type of business. So Chrissy, please share with us your Instagram expertise. Hello. Well, first of all, I wouldn't exactly call myself an expert. I just happen to know a few things. <laughs> Um, but really Instagram, you know, it's, it's social media. You want to run your social media the same way you run, you know, your Facebook and all of that, which is consistently. And I can't stress that enough. Um, and the way I look at my consistency is I put it in lines with like, I'm running a commercial. How often do you want your commercial to be seen on these news feeds? The more often that you're being seen, the more often that people are like, Oh, that's Chrissy. She's all about that fitness. Oh yeah. So when things come up fitness, they automatically think me because they've seen so much of me. Now, some people think, Oh, you know, three times is too many or four times is too many, but it's not, especially when you space it out over, you know, fitness and, and nutrition and something funny and something fashion or things that pertain to your life. So with your social media, you know, and especially, okay, so we're going to talk strictly Instagram. So on Instagram, first of all, I've gone from 285 followers to over 13,000 in two years. So it, again, consistency, right? And I started my Instagram probably, you know, a month or two after I became a coach. So it's definitely, you know, well, I started it then, but I didn't really start growing it until t uh, a few years ago. But, um, and I owe it all to consistency. Well, most of it. We'll get there though. So when you go to your Instagram, you'll notice that Instagram is all visual. Okay. So you're not being bombarded with a lot of the words that you're getting in your Facebook news feeds. Um, so you really want to make a visual impact with your posts. 
because that's what's going to cause people to follow you because what they're what they're judging you on or what they're evaluating your page on is your last six to nine photos. Okay, so if you go through your Instagram right now and there are six photos of your trip to the zoo with your kids last weekend, like your lifer, your avatar, the person that you're looking to attract is not gonna see that as appealing. That has no, nothing to do with fitness, nothing to do with you know weight loss. They're not looking to, to you for help when all they see are photos of your family at the zoo. So you really want, I like to look at mine as like a magazine subscription. This is my life. This is what you can expect from my page every single day when you come to my page. So there's always something fitness. I try to pick three to four things. So pick three to four things, just like every other social media, that you're kind of going to use to brand yourself, right? And then base those on all of the posts that you're going to make. And be consistent there too. Not just with how many times you post, but with what you're posting. Because that really does become your personal brand. And you want to give the people what they came for. For example, I've recently noticed that anytime I post uh, like a meal, people want to know what's in it, the recipe. Like that's what they're looking for. So now I know, okay, I need to give the people what they're looking for. That's what's going to create these people to follow me. It's going to create them to have more of a relationship with me to where they're going to want something more from me because I have something to offer them. So it opens up that that gateway for them to feel comfortable with you, for them to relate to you, because that's what you're looking for. Your goal is to create content to attract lifers who want to go deeper. You want them to become customers or coaches of your own, right? So you want to create that relationship with them. Um, so you want to stay consistent with that. Good lighting. You need to, you want to have good lighting with your photos. Again, it's all about visual on Instagram because I will look through someone. I just said, it'll take me one scroll to be like, nope, unfollow or nope, not following you. It's that easy. So you want to create really good photos and you know, they've got apps like word swag. I love word swag. Rona. That's a good one. Pick play post. That's a really good one. Everyone's using that. Um, and those are good for videos and stuff too. So just make it, you know, visually appealing and it doesn't have to be hard. Like for example, word swag, they have already, um, like phrases and stuff that you can pick already that they already have there for you. And there's so many, you just throw that on a photo and call it a day. Like it's so, there's so many different resources out there that are so easy. So definitely make sure your videos have good lighting. People want to see your face. They don't want to have backlighting to where the lighting's here, but you can't see me, right? Um, make sure your words are being seen on your photos. And when it comes to kind of what you post on there, um, you don't want to write a book. The only person that's going to read those are the people who are really following you, which is what you want, but it still deters a lot of people that are new to your page or just, you know, you're just showing up to them. So short, sweet, awesome. See ya. Again, I kind of like to do a catchy phrase at the beginning to get, catch someone's attention, but that's also what you use your photo for. If you put like, I just posted one tonight and I, it was just me and Oliver. First of all, I don't really like to throw Oliver on there because I mean, nobody really cares about my dog, but I do. So I just put a photo and I was like, okay, nobody's going to look at this photo if I don't put some words on it. So I put going live, right? People are going, oh, what you going live on? And then they'll cause them to read my photo, right? So it's kind of just engaging them from one place to another, getting them to read about, oh, this is what she's doing. Oh, what else is she doing? But just kind of gets them a little bit more intrigued and interested in what you're doing. So then that brings me to how to gain followers, right? Because that's the gist of what we're doing on social media. You want more people following you. You want more people seeing your content to create those lifers, to create those customers and coaches for yourself. So back when I first started my Instagram, I was doing a lot of Shalene Johnson's trainings and a lot of them all of them, she had explained on how to gain a follower. So she recommends, so you pick a hashtag or you go into your Explorer page. So, so for example, hashtag weight loss journey, right? Because that's what we're kind of targeting. You're going to go under weight loss journey and all these photos are going to come up of people on their weight loss journey. So you can go through, you'll find someone, right? You're like, oh, this person. 
you kind of scroll through, same thing, right? You're scrolling and you see, you kind of catch them. First of all, I always look for if they're affiliated with either Beachbody, Herbalife, all that other, actually all that other stuff doesn't matter to me since I've realized that I can convert people now. Haha. <laughs> but just make sure they're not already Beachbody coaches. So I go through and I, you want to like three to four of their photos, right? And like, make sure they're like recent photos, not like two years ago, make yourself look like a creeper. Make sure there are some recent photos. So you'll like three to four of them and then you'll comment on one to two of them, right? This makes you interesting because you are interested in them. So they'll be like, oh, this person really likes me. And then they'll go to your page and they're gonna be like, oh wow, I think I really like this person too. And then they'll follow you. Boom, done, new follower, right? So cool. So what I was finding was this was taking me a whole, oh, I'll get there in a second. So now chances are your avatar, it, these people that you're targeting, right, are friends with people like them, right? More people that you can follow. So what I would do there is I would go under their friends and then I would scroll through their friends and do the same thing over again. And I would pick them and I'd be like, oh, I like you too. And then like, 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 and oh my God, great, great job. You look great here. Just something little, just comment on the photo or what they're talking about. And then now what you can do is you'll go check your Explorer page. And your Explorer page is that page that shows all of, the, all of these different pages and people. Like when you go to search, if you hit that little magnifying glass, all these little posts that come up. This is your Explorer page. Now, Instagram pretty much helps you find your avatar. So the posts that you like are affecting the algorithm of your Explorer page, meaning IG is actually helping you. It's like, hey, here are all these people based on the people that you were just liking. For example, there was one time I was looking at pictures of like motorcycles or something. So I was like, oh yeah, motorcycles. So I go through and I start liking pictures of motorcycles. I was like, that's a cool motorcycle. Oh wow, look at that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go back to my Explorer page and everything's motorcycles or bikers or this or that. And I was like, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what I'm really interested in. But that's how IG, it, IG Instagram is really helping you. So if you can actually use the Explorer page to your benefit, it totally works. Now, another aspect, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, I can't help it. Chrissy, quick question on the Explorer page. Yeah. Um, would it be wise for you to click on those posts and hashtag those same hashtags on those? Like, a, like on my page, if I were to hashtag those photos? Yeah, like if you go to your Explorer page and you pull up a picture that Instagram thinks you like and there's specific hashtags on there, is it wise to maybe use those hashtags in your posts? I definitely do. I you yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. I use those. I so I use those kind of hashtags. Yeah, let's talk about hashtags really quick. So I use hashtags that are general health, healthy living, smart choices, hashtag weight loss, hashtag weight loss journey, you know, anything affiliated with what we're doing. Fit chicks, fit fam, fitness of Instagram. I want abs, abs of Instagram. Anything fitness, anything health related, and then I'll also throw in things that are more like toward just like the things that I like. So like, you know, Lululemon, Athleta, Nike, Just Do It, you know, places that I eat, places that I shop, just to make it more of targeted. Because I know when you're going to, you know, hashtag weight loss journey, hashtag healthy lifestyle, you're going to get everything from everyone, meaning you're going to get the herbal life, you're going to get the it works, you're going to get tons of beach body coaches. So it's definitely sifting and sorting because I feel like IG is more popular than Facebook in a sense because there's so much activity on Instagram. Like I get way more activity on Instagram than I do on Facebook, which is why I love it so much. <laughs> So, um, so hashtags are a big thing. And here's another thing. When you do use hashtags, do not use them in your section where you're, where you're, where you're putting your, what am I, what's the word? Like your post, like your post. Yeah, right in your post. Yeah. Don't put them in your post. It looks very sloppy. So what you want to do is you want to write them at you. So you're going to make your post and then you're going to make a comment on your own photo and you're going to make all the hashtags in there. 
And now what Instagram is doing is they're hiding your comments. They're hiding like your first few comments, so you can't even see your, your uh, hashtags anymore, which makes your photo and your page look so much cleaner. So just make sure that they're not in your actual post. Um, oh yeah, so now Instagram has a new feature like Facebook does with insights. So now you actually can go see, go through and see your demographics of, you know, the, the, how many women are seeing your posts versus men, the percentage there. You're seeing the time of day that you're getting the most activity on your page. Um, and I also know, I haven't dove into it yet, but there's a website called Iconosquare where you can, it's a better website for you to be able to check your insights and demographics. And it actually shows you kind of like how many people unfollow you on which posts and kind of, you know, helps you see why it really helps you target your content a little better and like who you're really targeting. Um, so I love that. Um, so with everything I've just told you. I know it's a little time consuming to go through and, you know, find all of these people and like all their stuff and comment on their stuff. So I actually found a company or a website that does all of this for me. Crazy. So it's called Instagress, I-N-S-T-A-G-R-E-S-S, Instagress.com. Um, it's only $10 a month. And this is what I owe all of my following to. Like literally 285 followers to over 13,000 in two years because of Instagram. And they're organic followers. So you know how like you can do fever and you pay like $5 for 4,000 people to follow you. But those are 4,000 no name, you know, out of crazy people in the country or the world that have nothing to do with anything that you're trying to do. Instagress is all organic followers. What I do or what you would do is you would go to this website and it allows you to put in all of these hashtags that you want Instagress to follow. So for example, that's where the Lululemon, Athleta, you know, bar, yoga, yoga, blah, blah, blah. Um, I still have fit chicks or, you know, stay at home moms, housewives, that kind of thing. Things that interest you and things that you're looking to target pretty much what your avatar would be interested in, right? What you're looking for in these people. So Instagress goes and follows these hashtags and for the, for the photos on these hashtags, Instagress will like their photos. So Instagress is liking photos that you would normally like for you. There is also an option for Instagress to comment on these photos for you. And now this is where it can get a little tricky because I used to put <laughs> comments in like, wow, that's a great post, but it would not correlate with the hashtag and it would be like a really bad post and they'd be like, what do you mean, Chrissy? <laughs> this isn't a good post. So you want to be careful. And again, it takes patience. Um, so Instagram will actually go and comment on these photos and people will be like, oh my gosh, thank you, right? So now they see your interest in them and then they come back and they see interest in you. So that's what I owe pretty much the growth of my, my following to. But on top of that, I go, so now I, I have the chance to build relationships with them, right? Because now they're authentic. Now they care about me authentically that I want to care about them authentically. So I make sure to comment on the majority of the people who comment on my photos because that's where you're building your relationship. Again, it's a little bit less personal than Facebook, so you have to rely on that communication. I'll send them private messages all the time like, hey, what's up? You know, you're so motivating. You're just opening the line of communication. Um, so you definitely want to be engaging with them there. And another thing about this Instagram, so when you go on Instagram, there's a place that you can go see the posts that you've liked. So... I'll go into the post that I've liked or the, you know, Instagram has liked for me and I'll be like, okay, okay. I'll go to their page. And now I'm like, they already think I've been following them for a while, right? Because Instagram has been doing the work for me. So I'll go to their page and I'll be like, you know, I've been following you for a while. You're so inspiring. I think with the right platform, you'd be able to help so many people. I would love to just talk to you some more. And then they're like, oh my God, thank you. And then, you know, there's another way to build relationships with somebody that I never even sought out. Instagram actually did it for me. 
So I feel like it takes the nitty gritty work out of it. However, your communication with them and opening those doors is always going to be more beneficial for you than just liking a post or just commenting on someone. You, you really want to make sure you're keeping the ball rolling. And what I try to do is I, so Instagram is not the best place to continue conversations. So I always go from the Instagram and I bring them to either Facebook or my email. I try to do both because both places I get better communication with people. So I really just use Instagram as a segue to bring them to my Facebook page or my email list because obviously that's going to be better for you. So you post that in the comments, right? Because I haven't, I can't. I can't figure out how to direct message people on Instagram. Like I've done it and I've messaged them back and then I never hear from them again. So you, do you oh. put your Facebook link or email in the comments where they comment? Like where you're talking back, like how do you get them off of Instagram to Facebook and email? Where do you tell them to go? Through direct messenger. I can't seem to figure it out. <laughs> All right. I'll figure it out though. Okay. So listen, so from this page right here, right? Can you see that? No, it's a little, it's too bright. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. So you'll go here. Yep. I, yep. And then there's all your messages. I know. They just don't get back to you. <laughs> well, there's maybe just a whole Facebook thing. Some people will get back to you and some people it's, won't. It, okay. You know what? And I get that a lot too. So I'm, okay. I like constantly go back through them because you can see it if people have seen it. So I'll just go back and I'll like keep commenting on their photos and be oh, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. see they've seen. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, because they're like, um, yeah, or I'm interested in your stuff. And I'm like, okay, great. And I reply and then I never hear from them. Okay. No, I see where they've seen it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's, and that's another reason why it's great to take them somewhere else. Right. Because Instagram, I feel like it's so easy to get lost and same with comments on my photos and stuff. Like, like so much activity is going on that I lose things. So it's great to be like, Hey, just so I don't lose you, you know, okay. Let's go to Facebook or I'm always, and you can't do any links through your Instagram direct messenger. So like they can't click on anything. So I always have to take them somewhere else regardless after I, they say that they're interested. Um, I think that's kind of all I got on Instagram. Okay. So then I have questions. Yeah. Um, what's the new video time limit? One minute. Okay. I knew it used to be 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Now it's one minute. Okay. And talk about the importance of making your profile look good. Ooh, yeah. The, the profile. So it makes you look so much more put together. Like sometimes people are like, Oh, I can, I can follow so many crazy people. Who, it's, it's crazy. Um, but you want it to look, first of all, let's leave beach body coach out of everything. You're not a beach body coach. You're a health and fitness coach, okay? You are your own brand. You are someone who promotes the use of the, you promote health and wellness through the use of beach body programs. But look at your coaching business as that. You're coaching people. Take pride in the fact that you are a health and fitness coach. And when you can portray that to your page, rather than being beach body this, shakeology, 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 that's what makes people unfollow you because it just seems like you're just doing nothing but selling to them. When really you should just be selling your experience, not the product. Yeah, and the more you hashtag Shakeology, you know, Beachbody, all that stuff, you're just gonna keep attracting Beachbody coaches. So. Exactly, yeah. which is not what you want. So for example, my, my profile has absolutely nothing to do with Beachbody. It says I'm a sunshine addict, a motivator, fluffy to fit, travelista, food whisperer. My life through the lens, online personal training and nutritional coaching, right? That's that like, so you want to do, so pretty much, you know, those three or four things I was telling you about earlier, that would be your personal brand. Try to tie that into your profile because that's, what's going to make people want to follow you, right? People are going to be like, oh, she likes the sun. Oh, me too. Oh, she likes food. Oh, me too. You know, but if you're like, hey, mom of three boys, people are going to be like, oh my gosh, she's got three boys too. I have boys. So use your profile as a place for people to instantly see that they can connect with you. You know, so don't flood it with crazy words or a, there's no point in putting a motivational saying there because that says nothing about you or what you're doing or what your job is in this world. Um, so just keep it short, sweet, and effective. 
I just posted mine on the Team Passion page, a picture of it, just so you guys can see to get some ideas. And Chrissy, if you want to post yours under mine after too, just so that people can see. Yeah, for sure. Yes, Robert. Um, Chrissy, you did Instagram Impact Academy, right? That's what you said you learned from Shalene. Yeah. And I've done it too. Um, it is super helpful. Mark's done it as well. So he gives me tips. Um, so yes, I think Instagram Impact is worth it. You just have to use it and do what Shalene says. And it's a little bit different of a content she actually uses because she tells you kind of the opposite of what Beachbody tells you, you know, because we're like, you know, put yourself out there. People want to see what you're doing. She says no. She wants you to be just like a magazine. So for us example, we would only be posting health and fitness. You wouldn't be posting about what this or personal development or, you know, you went on this trip and this is the epiphany you had while you were there. She doesn't want you talking about that. So it's really about just finding a fine line. Like she says a lot of great things. So as long as you can just kind of, you know, take and choose what you're, you're doing. But a lot of her information is amazing. Yeah. To give you guys an example too, like the way Mark and I run or Mark does our Facebook ads are through boosted posts and Every Facebook ad expert out there will tell you not to do that. Every single one of them. However, it works for us. So we figured out, we tried to do it the other way. And we're like, this isn't working for us. So you've got to figure out what works for you. Whatever they say is helpful, but yes, exactly. Listen, you know, trust your instincts and kind of test things out. Just like any social media, Instagram's the same way. You've got to just test things out and see what works and see what doesn't. Um, Susan wants to know if you use the Instagram stories that they came out with. Now, see, I love Snapchat because of the filters. So I have played, like I've done Instagram stories, but I feel like, you know, you're still kind of on display there. You're still, I feel like I'm still being my page on Instagram stories. I feel on Snapchat, I can be stupid, I can be crazy, I can be drunk if I wanted to, like it doesn't even matter. And the filters just make it so much more fun that I just love talking like a squeaky bunny and thinking that I'm hysterical. And I can't do that on Instagram. But I know some people, I haven't figured out how to take my Instagram store, my Snapchat, and move them to Instagram. Because I know some people are doing that. Speaking of which, I also went for people, does anyone do Snapchat here? Well, if you do Snapchat, um, and you, I don't know if you know this, but well, sure you do. You can't, you can only take a photo or a video if you're holding your phone. I went and got this little, this handheld thing that's done through a Bluetooth, and my phone can be on the other side of the room, and I can be hands-free on all my videos now. <laughs> it's genius. And it's called... Remote shutter, if anybody wants. I got a target for 10 bucks. Nice. Um, so something I wanted to bring up too. So if some of you are like, oh my God, I don't even have an Instagram account. And you're like, so this call wasn't like how to set up Instagram, right? Like this is tips on using your Instagram. There, this is what YouTube is for. Like there are plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to even start with Instagram. Um, you want to keep your social media brand and name the same. So I am Nicole L. Jones across all of my social media. It doesn't change. Um, so make sure that whatever you are on your Facebook, whatever you are on your YouTube, or your blog, whatever it is, it's the same on Instagram. So you, if you, uh, a couple years ago, we had to streamline everything. So we changed every name so that it was all Nicole L. Jones because we were a little all over the place. So make sure you, um, you do that all over. Yeah. And the name, when you use your own name, it really puts forth a professionalism to your page. Like when you're like, hey, come get fit with Monica or come get fit with Lisa. Like it just looks like it really kind of puts you in the bunch with all of the other ones. So I've noticed that when you use your, when you use your name, it's just, it's a lot more impactful and professional. Same yeah. with professional photos. Um, I know not everyone has done professional photos yet. I haven't yet. It's totally on my to-do list. Um, but same thing, you want your photos to look, you know, as, as good as possible, which is why I talked about the whole lighting and, you know, the visual impact of things. Yeah, and you want to be branding your name so that people can find you. You don't, it's too hard yeah. to try to do something else. Uh, Sarah Nelson's asking about using business profile. That's what I have. 
I moved, I switched mine to business profile and I put myself as a public figure and I added my location for where I live, Rochester, New York. Um, pretty much cause I saw all of the other, you know, top professional people that I follow that they did it. So I was like, I'm going to do it too. And I think it, it really helps people because I noticed ready for this. I noticed when I looked at my insights that the majority of people who follow me are from New York. I never would have known that. Cool. Yeah. And remember to check your insights. The website is Icona Square. That Christmas. You can do that. Um, I haven't checked into that yet though. I don't even know if it costs money. I don't think it does. Do okay. you um, but they have it on Instagram now. So when you go into the little person on the bottom, right next to your settings, there's like, you know, little bars. Look on there. Those are your insights. Cool. Anyone else have any other questions? You know, just remember, just like anything, you've got to be patient. You've got to learn it. This should, be, this should be your overtime work. So you've got to work out, drink your shake, talk to people, do your 50 minute power hour, do your personal development. And then this is the overtime work. So this is the, if this is the stuff that you do off time, because this, you know, you want to, you want to learn your social, you, or you could even say, okay, instead of my personal development today, I'm going to learn how to use Instagram. That's okay too. Um, but you know, just really, you've got to be, you have got to be patient with all of this social media, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Facebook like page, whether it's YouTube, blogging, Instagram, you have to be ready for it. You only want to focus on one social media at a time. You want to be in, Shalene talks about being in seasons. So you can have a season of learning Facebook and a season of learning Instagram, but you want to make sure that you can be consistent on them both every day. Um, if that's the season you're in, whatever you know, season you're in with, with your social media. So yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Anything, um, anything final that you want to say? Any other Can you share your IG posts on Facebook? I actually do. I do a lot of the same posts. However, I'll change wording sometimes. Sometimes I might change the photo. Um, I might take a lot of my paragraph out, depending on what it is. Um, I don't do a lot of transformation pics on Instagram. Again, you just want to nurture to your audience. So I really try to keep my Instagram more like a magazine. Cool. And a commercial, like you said, I love yeah. how you started this. Like, how often do you want your commercial to be seen? So Exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you so yeah. much for your time. And I will get this recording up as soon as I can on the Team Passion YouTube channel. So have a good night, everybody. Thanks, Chrissy. You're welcome.